hello everyone welcome to part 5 of react.js tutorial and in the last video we have seen that we able to uh, fetch the data from our get api uh, via axios method okay axios uh, that is uh, the replacement for the uh, uh, ajax okay and with the help of axios uh, that is the javascript library uh, that helps us to send and receive data from the server so i have shown you that how we can able to connect uh, uh, two servers together like the rect is on the different server and laravel 9 Rect is on the different server and how we are connecting with each other so axios helps us to do that uh, and now in this video uh, we are going to do the same thing via fetch method fetch is the javascript method that we are going to use for fetching the data from the get api okay so we have already built the get api users api to fetch the user details see we are doing this because in the later uh, uh, in the later videos uh, we are going to fetch lot of data from our database like if we are going to make the e-commerce app then we need to show the products on the app then how we are going to show products on the app from the database so these are the ways uh, by which we can able to show the products on our rect app from the laravel database from the database that is connected with the laravel website okay so that's why i am explaining you so these two videos part four and part fifth i have ex explained to you uh, intentionally i have told you about this thing so that uh, you will have the idea okay uh, uh, that how we can able to connect laravel with react okay so in next video i will give you the basics like uh, uh, about the components uh, uh, about the functional components uh, and about the uh, class components okay so i will give you complete details of the components like uh, react is built on the components it's, it's itself and uh, further uh, things uh, i'm going to explain you in the next video so that your basis will get clear but in this video i am going to run one more method i'm going to open the visual studio code see here in the last video we have done this uh, uh, axios code here you can see okay so we are going to disable this code only this part we are going to replace okay and rest of the code will remain this same okay so i am going to command this one and i'm going to command this code okay up till here i'm going to command and here i am going to uh, write the code for the xws okay so uh, sorry for the uh, fat method okay here uh, we will write uh, via axios axios okay we will write like this and here uh, a x i o s okay so here i am going to uh, write uh, via uh, fetch method okay fetch method of javascript okay so what we are going to do we are going to take one const variable once again okay we will name it like fetch data fetch data okay like this fetch data and equal to there is a syntax bracket we need to give here and after that uh, this one object and then the uh, curly brackets okay so inside this one return we will call the fetch j uh, javascript method like this and inside the fetch method uh, we are going to give the url okay so the same url we are going to give uh, that is the get api url of getting the users okay so we will give it like this and after that dot then so this is the syntax okay so uh, after that we will uh, give here response response and object here then response dot json to convert the response to the json okay and after that finally once more dot then and then the data that the data that will come from our api okay that we are going to do is set user okay set user and then data uh, what comes it come the users okay users we have used there like semicolon okay here we have used in api users as array so that's why we have given there okay 
so users will come up here so we are going to check here this new way of getting the data we able to get the data or not you can see we able to get the data here you can see amit gupta and john singh e are coming here with the help of the this code this pattern okay via fetch method see uh, see i am going to show you like if i will remove this one then the error message must come see here the error message uh, come here fetch uh, fetch data is not defined because we need to define this fetch data that we are you uh, that we are calling here okay fetch data will remain the same because the variable okay the, this variable we can change also but then we need to uh, call that here okay uh, okay so so this one now we are using the fetch method uh, to uh, see uh, to show the data from the database via the get api uh, that uh, uh, that's url we have given here okay so now we want to fetch the more data like uh, you can see the email is also here okay so email also we want to show along with the name so we will just copy and paste this one and see we will give here email as well so email will also come no need to refresh it will automatically refresh and you can see the email have also come uh, we will give some space here like this okay so see space has come okay so uh, we can also give here the break tag okay br then you can see it will come break start break close see it automatically close okay so see here now it comes uh, in the lines okay amit gupta then email then john singh then email first name then email first name then email okay so that's all for now i hope that this thing you can also do at your end you can try uh, with the fetch method as well and uh, and also you can able to connect uh, your api uh, with direct uh, so these kind of apis we are doing because we uh, we want to work on the e-commerce api very soon we want to work uh, we want to build the e-commerce app in rect okay so that's why uh, these basics we need to clear so in next video i will explain you about the components okay so that is really important to uh, to get the complete clarity to get the basics clear so that we can work on our e-commerce app okay uh, like the same like laravel 9 e-commerce website we are going to convert to the e-commerce app so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye